We are facing an extremely energized and intense new moon on November the 13th. And this new moon is energetically the most intense for a long time. And we can already feel that these energies are building up. And today I want to talk about the astrological aspects and what this can bring to the forefront with this new moon. But before I start, a warm welcome to you here on my YouTube channel. And if you would like to receive a weekly astrological and energetic update, feel free to sign up for my newsletter where I share a lot of information with you every week. And if you want to learn more how you can read the stars and the energies of the planets for yourself and interpret them, I offer an international astrological online training in Vedic Astrology. And for more information, click on the link below the video. This new moon takes place in the sign of Libra at 26.32 degrees. There Sun and Moon meet together with the planet Mars and Mars is only 2 degrees away. Mars is at 28 degrees which is very close and that alone leads to turbulent energies. Mars stands for fire, for passion, but also for aggression and war and brings up deeply buried negative emotions. They can bubble up. And Sun and Moon stands for our consciousness itself. These are moments when we become aware, aware of those things that lies deep buried in us. And Sun and Moon intensify this inner process. But the biggest trigger at the new Moon is still another planet. It is the planet Uranus. Uranus stands together with Rahu, the upper lunar node, and also the planet Jupiter in the sign of Aries, opposing this new moon. And these energies multiplies this extraordinary constellation. And this new moon is really very special. I can't remember a new moon that is exactly with the degrees because Uranus stands at 26 degrees, at the same degrees with the, sun, with the Sun and the Moon. And this is intense. The most intense new Moon for a long time. Uranus stands for sudden and completely unexpected events. Uranus stands for rebellion but also for electricity and also it is the frequency of our higher parts, our higher self, the higher parts of our soul. It speaks about a higher level of frequency. But there is something else very important because the planet Saturn is also involved in this special energy cocktail to the next new moon. Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius and three houses away from Uranus, Jupiter and Rahu. And Saturn has a third house aspect which is very powerful. And this means that Saturn also brings his energies to this cocktail. And Saturn is at this time nearly stationary. That means Saturn is very powerful. And Saturn-Uranus con connections bring often the topic of earthquakes. And especially when Pluto is involved and Pluto 
is involved because Pluto stands between Uranus in the sign of Aries and the new moon in the sign of Libra exactly in the middle. This is really, really highly extreme. And Pluto is in an earth sign in Capricorn and Pluto brings a lot of transformative energies. That is really very special. So Uranus and the new moon in Libra, they can literally make the earth tremble, shaking the earth and can bring up new earthquakes, also extreme storms, tsunamis and something like this. And especially when Saturn is in the lunar mansion Shatta Bishak. This is a special lunar mansion and every 30 years we have a major earthquake and this is connected to the position of Saturn in Shatta Bishak or in the nakshatra Danishta. Danishta is short before Shatta Bishak. We had the, the strong earthquake in the year 1906 in San Francisco. Then there was in 1933 one in California also and then in 1964 in Alaska and so on. The danger for earthquakes is really high till Saturn will move out of the sign of Aquarius and mostly out of the nakshatra Danishta or Shatta Bishak. And this will happen around April 2024. But I want to make a separate video about the danger of an earthquake because it's very prominent with those energies at this time. We are in a great process of upheavals and reorientation and with these energies I believe we have not yet reached the tip of the iceberg and unfortunately there is a high potential for violence on earth and the planetary constellations reflect that with Mars and the Sun and Moon in such a close connection opposite to Uranus and Jupiter and Rahu. And another thing on top, the planet Mars and also Sun are from the declination degrees very near together. What does this mean, declination? We do not only have the longitude degrees, also we have the latitudes that matter. And with this, the declination, they are very close. The Sun is, I think, at 17 degrees and Mars is at 18 degrees. And this means they are really close together, not only from the latitude degrees, also from the longitude degrees. So this is really important. And this will bring up new outbursts of violence. It is not a good time for diplomacy and it will lead further maybe to new escalations maybe even an expansion on the conflict in the Middle East. And also Venus, the planet Venus, is in the 12th from the new moon and is in a 6-8 relationship to Saturn and Uranus with this new moon. And that brings up problems with the topic of Venus. And this is about our relationships, but also about our values and especially our financial system and money. So Venus is not very good placed at this new moon. How do we best deal with this situation? The most important thing is not to let oneself be too triggered by external events. Stay within oneself. It is a transformation and to look for where 
where you can find your inner peace, no matter what is happening outside. If you know your ascendant, and I'm talking about Vedic astrology, this is a completely different system than the Western astrological system, then you know which life themes are currently being triggered by these intense energies and where there can be a great shift and unexpected changes in your life. But that does not always mean that it is a bad thing. Sometimes these energies bring to one's consciousness where something hasn't been really good for a long time and needs to be changed. I will give you now a brief overview and for more information I share a lot of things in my exclusive membership. If you are interested to, uh, to get more information about the energies then use the link to my membership below this video. And you can also order in our shop a Vedic birth horoscope then you see which houses are triggered with this intense new moon. So if you have your birth horoscope, your Vedic birth horoscope, then you look for the letters ASC. Those stand for Ascendant. And if your Ascendant is in the sign of Aries or in the sign of Libra, for you those energies are most intense. It is really a complete shift in consciousness a big transformation into a new self-awareness. You might feel new, different. You might have new interests and it is also a time to clarify a lot of things in your relationships and this can change your life forever. For Ascendant, Taurus and Scorpio, your health is extremely important. You might have restless sleep and you are prone to accidents so it is important not to do risky things during this time and also make sure to eat well. For Ascendant, Gemini and Sagittarius a change in your social circle is possible and unexpected gains are possible and the topic of your children is most important. They are in your focus and there can be changes. And it is a good time to start new projects after you have realized what needs to be changed. For Ascendant, Cancer and Capricorn there could be sudden changes in the topics of your job, your career and also your domestic situation, your home. Something wants to change. At least pay attention to peaceful communication with your boss and also your family and especially your mother. For Ascendant, Leo and Aquarius it is an absolutely transformative time to realign yourself, maybe to start to learn new things and to travel and to be open. Don't be too impressed by what others are doing. Find your own path. For Ascendant, Virgo and Pisces, financial challenges can come up, but also unexpected money can come from others to you. But be cautious about family disputes. It is important to understand that we are in a major transition into a new world. But it is more than only a material world. It is a new consciousness, a new awareness and a new belief system. And there is no need for fear. It takes courage to live yourself 
and to discover yourself, to stand up for your needs and your wishes and who you are, and to set your boundaries without hurting others in this process. And I'm, I'm sure we can do this. A new moon is always a good opportunity to set new intentions into the world. The intention may be also for peace. It is a time for a fresh start, leaving the old behind. And with those special energies of this new moon in November that is so intense, those intentions are very powerful. And however, it is good to know that with these energies in the outer world, there might be a big transformation and things won't be easy. And some people will be more or less forced to finally make changes in their lives, as Uranus can bring unexpected events. We will see how these energies will manifest. Stay true in yourself and in your inner peace. So thank you so much. Share this video with like-minded people and I love you. Namaste.